Hello, Ramona. I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost. We stand on the opposite shore. Hello, Ramona. I reach through mysterious ceilings, my only hope. I look for the things I don't know. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly, don't. I should be the last to know. All in this, I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly, don't. I should be the last. To That worked up a sweat but I've got most of the marks off the floor which I'm very pleased about there is this one where is it here somewhere I'm gonna go over that another day um, but I've got the majority of it off which is great so it's looking all nice and we're ready for our table and chairs to come in now which is fab I've still got to mop in the utility room and the kitchen but right now I've kind of boxed us out of there it's all wet you don't want to okay you do want to go on the wet floor okay I needed a wet floor sign for Echo, clearly. This is what happens when I try and unpack anywhere. There is always a cat involved. <laughs> Every cupboard I open, there's a cat inside it. <laughs> if you've got cats, you will understand. So I'm just figuring out now, I've got quite a lot of boxes. If you remember my old house, it was under the stairs, we had loads of storage. So I think that's what this cupboard's gonna be, uh, just a kind of miscellaneous items cupboard. Um, and we've got, uh, appliances and stuff like that and then this one I think it's a bit of a mess still but it's um it's all my little boys bits and bobs so I just need to figure out some storage for that but just little snacks and his poles and his bibs and the spray for the high chair which is so handy when the table is literally right here so I'm loving that cupboard it's great um Echo is going for an explore now so yeah I'm just going to unpack these boxes We've got some bulbs to go outside as well. I call it the coffin, but he's left us this big um, planter, raised bed thing. Uh, it's not in a great place because you can't actually see it from either patio door. So I don't know if we're gonna move it or repurpose the wood at some point. I don't really know what the vision is out here yet. I'm excited because there is so much space and excited to get some trees in because obviously there's a lot of windows, but weirdly it feels really private because these windows face that way and that window faces there and that's the front of those houses. So like they're obviously not looking in. So yeah, it's good. I was a bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I don't really like being overlooked, but we both come from new build houses. <laughs> both our parents had new builds. So we're kind of used to having the back of another house facing onto us. So this is a bit different because everyone's facing at weird angles. But I think it'll be good. Like once we've got some plants in, obviously it'll look a lot better. At the minute it's just grass all the way up to the fence, which is kind of nice because that's what we'd have got if we'd have bought this from new. So yeah, we've still got our rocking chairs, loads of recycling to deal with, and then somewhere to put my little boy's toys. Um, yeah, he needs like a little car garage, like a little corner for his house and his car. My goodness me, not even a year old and he's got a house and a car. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting distracted. Back on with the plan. Hello, Ramona. I mistook you for a dream. The engine glows, and I guess you always seem to know. Hello, Ramona. I push back the serious feeling, the ends unknown, to get back the life I used to know. Stand alone. 
Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes There's always a cat but how nice does this look? I feel like it's gonna be perfect for this space. <gasps> and so easy to use. That's the aim with this house, right? Everything needs to be easy. <laughs> Honestly don't, I should be the last to know. gets the sign of approval from Echo, who has decided this is where he's going to stay. Hey, are you happy? That's a good bird watching spot, isn't it? So it does look really funny now. We've got this big old space here. So I do think, um, I think my son's high chair is probably going to go here, which won't look great, but it's fine. It's practical. And then I do think some panelling just to break up this wall and then paint this wall, maybe a colour other than white, because it's very, very like stark. A lot of the walls in this house are very, very white. And these are more of like a greeny grey colour, which is quite nice actually, it kind of makes the kitchen pop a little bit. Um, so yeah, we'll see. And we've got like green curtains, like a light green curtain to come in. So maybe that'll break the space up a little bit, I'm not sure. Weirdly, this is actually the colour that we had in our old house. It's Overtly Olive by Dulux. And I think I might just do another coat on here because it could just do some touch-ups. Um, we had some Velcro. Uh, sticky things so it's took the paint off and it's not like a wipeable paint finish so yeah I might just do a coat of this one day and then at least that's done I just need to do some touch-ups in places where it's had a bit of a hard life <laughs> so it is complete I am super pleased with how that looks I feel like the lower backed chairs work really well with the space they kind of continue on from the countertop I am aware it's very like white and grey right now but we are going to add you know, some colour and some other touches. It looks quite stark without any blind or curtains as well. Um, and I'm sure once we've, you know, done something with this wall, I'm just not sure what yet, <laughs> once we've done something, it will look a lot better and we need to order some new handles because I feel like the handles here are making the kitchen look really modern and obviously that looks really like cottagey and like shabby chic. So I feel like hopefully once they're changed to like, um, I don't know what the colour is, like satin silver, it's sort of like a... A muted silver colour. I feel like that will make a big difference obviously once we get this um, backsplash removed. Not sure when that's gonna happen like but yeah anyway really really happy with how this looks. I'll take you around as well. I've managed to clean the utility also <laughs> and it just looks lovely. You can't even see my little boy's high chair which is hiding in the corner there which will be so much easier because I can literally just turn him this way and I can sit here whereas before I was like sitting here and he was just completely in the way of anyone getting past here which was yeah it was getting a bit annoying so it's nice now that we've got all this extra room in here so this room is done I think we've just got to do a tip run now to get rid of all the recycling um, and then in here obviously we've got a lot going on on the radiator but it's looking better a lot lot better it's just a slow progress but that's okay Rome wasn't built in a day as they say nor was Kay's house I am living for the light in this house no matter where I sit the light it is amazing it's like a proper house for a youtuber it's literally perfect but lighting, I don't know about you, but it makes such a difference to my mood and how I feel. So I'm very, very pleased. I feel like now this room's done, it feels really lovely and it's feeling more and more like home with every single thing we do. So yeah, the rest of the house is now destroyed, but we'll get there. <laughs> um, it's feeling, it's feeling really, really nice. Another day and I've got more jobs to do. If I look a bit bedraggled, it's because I've just been outside in the front garden and I've just weeded everywhere. He had loads of the gorgeous tall daisies, like what we used to have in the old house, um, but they'd become, you know, they'd go all brittle and look all, just all yeah, stringy and spindly. So I've chopped those down, uh, back down, and they look a lot more tidy now. 
and there was loads and loads of dandelions in the front border, like the grass and everywhere. So I borrowed this tool from my in-laws and it's so satisfying. I'm going to show you it in a minute, but it's so good. <laughs> there are so many weeds in our back garden and it's really uneven as well. So it's going to need some work definitely, but we're probably not going to do much to the garden till like spring next year. Um, but never say never, you never know what we're going to do. <laughs> but really I think we need to prioritise inside. But I am going to put some boiling water all over the patio weeds because that is honestly the best way to weed. If you've never tried it, give it a go. You don't need loads of chemicals. And then I'm going to try and get rid of as many weeds as I can out of the garden purely because yesterday I let my little boy outside and he was having the best time and there's no like plants for him to destroy yet so it was quite nice. But I was really wary that there was lots of... Um, like thistles all over the grass. So if I can get rid of the thistles, he can just, he can run free basically, which will make him very happy. So that's my plan for this afternoon. And I've got some more boxes to empty as well. So yeah, I think we're getting there though. It feels nice. And I've got a little haul to share with you all from Morrison's. So I'll share that with you now. Um, I nipped out this morning and they had so many cute things. I could have bought more, but I thought no rain it in <laughs> we don't need loads of new stuff but my old chopping board that was the wooden one it warped on the back so when you were trying to cut it was like tup, 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 tup. anyway i think you're gonna really like the new one i've got it's so cute <laughs> so it really is the world's smallest little haul but i couldn't resist these things so this is the gorgeous chopping board i just picked up how pretty is that it is really nice and it's a smooth finish on top as well I just think it's really lovely. It matches the tray that I've got actually that I work on a lot. And then I've got a scrubby mummy who's had a bit of a hard life, but um, I really rate these things. They're really good and they last a very long time as well. Hopefully even longer once the dishwasher's working again. I had a lady come out to look at it yesterday, so hopefully that'll be working again in a two days time. Got some cute little socks. They do the best socks in Morrison's. I can't say that they stay on his feet very long, but they had really nice colors. Um, and he's basically walking now, so <laughs> he's wearing shoes when we're out and about, so it's nice to just have, you know, a thin pair of socks on. Could not resist, could not resist this thing. How cute is that? He's getting a toy kitchen for his birthday or Christmas, I'm not sure which one yet, uh, from my mum and stepdad, so that's going to be perfect for it. And it's just adorable. There's little tea bags and lemons. Oh, that was £10, which I think is pretty good. Um, I know Aldi have done like a little event and I li know Lidl are doing as well, but um, Asda and Morrison's also have little wooden little toy sets, which is lovely. And then the last thing is this gorgeous little candlestick holder, which I thought was really, really pretty. Just really neutral and minimal. And then some candlesticks. <coughs> You'll all know I do prefer beeswax when I'm burning it just because it's a lot less toxic and healthier for us and the air. But these just look pretty, you know, just as display. I don't know. I'm not going to say I'm never going to burn them, but they just look nice. And I feel like in there it would look lovely. So I'm going to put it in and see what it looks like. But that's my tiny little haul. And it really was small, but I couldn't resist this today. So pretty. So welcome to our extremely weedy garden. As I said, there are lots of weeds and obviously no borders in this garden, so that'll make a big difference when the time comes and we get round to weeding. But I thought I would start off with just taking away the ones that I could see and pouring boiling water on them, as I said before, works really, really well, especially for patios. It just kind of, over time, they just die off and then they can just be swept away. And then I'm just giving it a bit of a tidy up and yeah, just setting about weeding. This tool is so much fun that I said about. It's so easy to use. I'll definitely leave it linked down below. But someone <laughs> messaged me and said it's like real life Animal Crossing. If that's something that you know, you will understand. And it is just as satisfying, honestly. It's so much fun. I didn't know that weeding could be fun, but maybe I'm just showing my age now at nearly 30. But yeah, we've got lots of plans for the garden, but nothing sort of set in stone. It's a big space. It doesn't look it from this angle, but when you go to the bottom of the garden, and look back it's really deceptive because obviously the patio is quite large as well so we've got a lot of space to do stuff with we want to plant some trees and lots of just gorgeous flowers and bring some wildlife back to the garden it's funny not a lot of people on this part of the estate have planted very much at all and i suppose it's because gardens can be quite expensive and a bit of a money sink as well but thankfully we've got 
lots and lots of pots that we brought with us and tackling these weeds made it feel kind of like I'd taken ownership of it just like cleaning the house which felt really really good to get done. Project. Today I'm going to be taking up this sheer neck curtain that I've got for the kitchen window. I got a large piece of material so I could use it somewhere else in the house as well. But I love the layout of this kitchen, though the kitchen and where I wash up faces out onto the front of the house. So I want to make it a bit more private, a little bit more cosy. At the moment we've got Venetian blinds and although they look fine, you know, I do find them quite difficult to use. I think they're a bit of a dust magnet and they're just not my personal taste. So I'm looking forward to seeing those go and I think sheer net curtains just, they can add so much elegance to a room, they make the lighting really soft and they kind of... They give privacy without blocking out too much light as well. So yeah, I've got some sewing to do today. And today's video is really kindly sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is the largest online community for creatives with thousands of classes led by industry experts across productivity, content creation, cooking, arts and crafts, self-care and loads more. Skillshare can help you to take your career, skills, hobbies, passions and side hustles to the next level. The learning pathways are wonderful as they're curated and have sequential class collections which can really help you to master a specific skill. In my case, hand sewing, I've had so much fun learning how to properly sew and learning new techniques as well. And knowing that I'm doing things properly, I have been winging it my whole life. You know, I was taught in school but it's the same as everything, isn't it? If you you kind of learn a long, long time ago, you make it up as you go. And you know, I would I would sew things and I would put them in the wash and I would just like cross all my fingers and toes, they would come back out in one piece. So it's nice knowing now that I know how to do it properly. I know how to start and finish a project and I know that I can wash it and have confidence it will come out back in one piece. <laughs> I do feel like sewing is a lifelong skill that I really want to pass down and it does take time to hand sew. So I feel like it's becoming a bit of a lost art, but it's really peaceful really calming and I've been really really enjoying it and there's always things to fix you know there are things in life we go through we lose buttons and you know we get holes in our clothes or in my case you know you move house and you've got loads and loads of curtains to take up it costs so much less money doing it yourself than taking it to a seamstress and I feel like it's a really valuable skill to learn so hopefully I'm inspiring you to learn this skill as well <laughs> with the classes and learning paths on Skillshare it's been so easy to learn and unlearn some of the things I was doing wrong my entire life now that the weather's turning cold we're all naturally spending so much more time in so I can't think of a better time to learn a new skill. Skillshare have new and improved class systems including three new class topics which are creative careers, inspiration and AI and innovation. They've also got really great software which asks members about their interests and immediately gives recommendations tailored to their goals. So the first 500 people to click the link in my description will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. So get started today but I really really I recommend hand sewing. I feel like we should all learn you know and I feel like you're all the same as me in that we're, we're people who love being at home and we love making our homes a cosy place and I feel like a skill set that you learn and you can keep for life is just such a valuable asset and something that we can pass down. So that is my plan. I am going to see what I can do and we will see how I get on together. Um, yeah. I'm excited, I'm excited to have these up and I feel like it's going to make my house look so much more cosy as well. I love, I love the light on these and we've got some curtain poles to put up in here as well. Um, probably this weekend when Dom, you know, is off work and we can do some drilling uh, without waking up our little boy. But it's all coming together and I feel like this is one of the, like, the, the major pieces for me. Is getting rid of those dusty Venetian blinds and getting a look for a little bit of, a little bit of me. <laughs>
they are up and they look so nice. I haven't actually sewn anything yet. All I've done this afternoon is measure. It took me a little while longer. It's been a long time since I've properly done anything like this. So yeah, I've made sure to iron them, just really take my time. I want them to look really nice and really tailored. Um, so all I've done at the minute is iron them. They're the right size. They've got a nice hem and that hem just needs sewing. So as with everything in my life, you know, <laughs> at this point in my life, everything can't get done in one day. So I'll be back tomorrow or maybe it'll be this evening. I'm going to sew them all and then I'll show you the finished product. But I'll show you what they look like right now. I'm pretty happy with it. I gave them quite a big hem so that they were weighty, so that they didn't just like float around. And I think it's worked really, really well. <laughs> oh, they just look so beautiful with the light coming through as well. Oh, she's so happy. <laughs> I know it's like a new house, but I really wanted to give it a bit of character and to give it that kind of like farmhouse cottagey feel. And hopefully, hopefully I'm managing it. I feel like I feel like these are helping, you know, especially the sink. Oh, yes. So this is what we've got right now. I obviously need to properly take them up. Um, at the minute they're kind of gathering a bit weird because the fabric's like falling in half. But yeah, I think I got the perfect length. Um, I just wanted them to have that little bit more weight and they just look beautiful, don't they, with the light coming through. <sighs> obviously without this here it would look even nicer, but really, really pleased with that. I think it looks lovely. It's up to you. If there's a seam on the inside of a garment, then absolutely nobody's going to see that. That is perfectly fine. Short, tiny little pinprick back stitches do take a lot longer, but they are very, very strong. To do a back So this room's looking a lot better than it has been doing. Um, I've just got all my little boy's toys here. But does anyone else do this when you're trying to visualise for furniture? I've tried to figure out what I want to do with this room and honestly I'm not really sure. It's quite long but also quite narrow but it's really cosy as well and there's so much space. So that um, table is six foot. It's being collected tonight thankfully by someone. I've sold it on Facebook but that table fits both sides here so it's six foot there, six foot there and then this fireplace as well so it's a really big room but yeah we've just gone and collected a sideboard so I'm going to bring it in and hopefully it looks nice and I don't know yet if I'm going to put the um, telly on top of the sideboard because obviously it's quite tall. We did try and have it low so like as if it was a, a low unit but because it's such a narrow room when you sat here and had your feet up you, <laughs> you couldn't see the telly for your feet so yeah I think this is going to work well and then I've got a quote for having a, um, a false chimney breast put in which sounds a bit random but I feel like it might just add a bit of something to the room because obviously this fire is just on the wall and I just think the sideboard's going to come out quite far so having the chimney sort of in line with the sideboard would look lovely. And then maybe we'll put the telly, like get a Samsung frame TV and maybe put it above the fire or maybe have it um, on here. We're going to change out the fire and everything as well. I'm probably going to sell this and get, um, you know, like one built in by the carpenter uh, that just looks a little bit lighter and brighter. I feel like this is quite dark for this space. The guy who had it before had it decorated really nice. It was very like bohemian style. So a lot of the stuff he had, um, like lots of wood and natural elements, which I don't hate. I do like it. But my personal style is more like the shabby chic, like French elegant light look as you'll all know so yeah anyway enough blabbing from me we're gonna bring this in I just need to move all these toys and then I'll show you what it looks like it does need painting um obviously it's probably gonna be the same color as this actually when it comes in so we'll see we'll see how it looks but I'm feeling hopeful okay so here she is she looks beautiful Do you know I thought about tidying up all the toys and I thought no this is real life so welcome to my real house full of real baby toys <laughs> but this is what the living room looks like right now i am so pleased with this sideboard i picked up it was 150 pounds on facebook marketplace which i think is a bargain i've looked online for sideboards like this i was always trying to find one second hand though 
um, but they're like upwards of like seven, eight hundred pounds for this sort of style, which is an amazing saving. With a house like this one where it's very much, you know, big white box rooms, the house itself has no character, so I think bringing in pieces with character is what helps to give it its soul and make it come to life. So I'm gonna put up a picture on the screen of what I'm trying to achieve with this room, or my current vision anyway, I'm sure it's gonna change so many times uh, between now and then. But yeah, I'm wanting to put in a fake chimney breast, which might sound a bit random, obviously it's already quite a narrow room, but I think it will add a lot of character and just that cozy feel and it's a really large space so even though this side of the room, especially with this here, might be a bit more cramped, we've got all this space here for him to play and to enjoy his little life so that's the main thing and if we want more space that can just move out of the way and we gain so much more room as well. Our current sofa is actually quite wide, we're going to get a like, slightly more narrow sofa, neither of us like how deep the seats are, so that'll be different as well, um, but I, yeah, I'm excited to do that, I think it's going to look lovely, and then I've changed my mind about the media wall, um, in the end I realised our curtains go to this end of the wall, so we couldn't have built-in shelves because it would look really weird, <laughs> so... I went for the sideboard instead. So I am thinking of swapping our telly to a Samsung frame TV, just because this was way too big. Our old living room was really <laughs> far away, whereas this one's really narrow, so we don't need this um, to be as large. So I think a smaller one, and then undecided if it's gonna go here on the wall or on the wall of the fake chimney breast in the future. But really, really pleased with how this is looking. And obviously in true K style, you all know what color I'm gonna paint it. <laughs> I am going to paint it white and um, probably with that French chic paint stuff just because I think it will look a lot nicer and not feel as domineering in the room and then I've got some paint samples as well on the wall and I think this is the one we're going for and um, it's shaded white by Faro and Ball it's such a gorgeous neutral colour and so yeah I want that to be like the deep base for the room and then white furniture to I don't know make it pop a little bit obviously at the minute Echo's just fast asleep it's like 50 shades of beige and gray which I am not a fan of and it's all different colors as well so eventually we will be swapping the sofa it's you know it's had its time as well um we'll probably keep the armchair though but then obviously we've got gray carpet which isn't something I would have chosen myself but obviously it's here now so we're not going to change it but I think we'll see how we go I'm not entirely sure what to do with this room yet but we're getting there again the curtains I'm thinking maybe a different color curtain because obviously again <laughs> it's all very like beige and I don't mind color you know I don't mind color but I do want it to just feel cozy and then we've got the current rail up is the one that was left behind so we need to change it for a double one but this is the vision right now <laughs> you can see the car outside We've got these gorgeous floaty neck curtains and I'll show you the tie backs I've got but I'm wanting to get well, I've got them already. I just need Dom to put them up. Some tie backs. You can't really see my vision, but it's gonna look gorgeous, I think, when it's all said and done. Um, and then I'll show you the neck curtain I did the other day and then the kitchen. But for now, that is the vision in this room. And then this little corner here, I need to figure out a situation. Echo can't jump <laughs> from the windowsill to the catch roof, it's here, so I need to figure out what we're gonna do with that. The sideboard has actually given us loads more storage space, so if you were wondering what this banana box is here, there's a random feather on the floor from the cats. Um, it's all my books, which are gonna go into here. We've gained so much storage. So I'm thinking of putting my books on these two shelves. And we've got three drawers that I've put nothing in yet, but they're beautifully lined, such amazing quality. And then this one has some Etsy stocking. What she knows, boop. <laughs> yeah, just some overflow Etsy stock, which is fantastic. It's nice to just have space to sprawl and spread out. But yeah, I really, really, really love this and I can't wait to see it when it's white. I know I'm blabbing now, but I got a comment last week on my video when I was saying about how much storage I had and all these cupboards and I didn't know what to fill them with. And someone said, rightly so, you don't have to fill all the cupboards. And I thought, yeah, you know, that's true. <laughs> It is true. At the minute I'm kind of, I don't have the brain space or energy to deal with 
properly organising at the minute so I'm just kind of putting things where I think they should go and then in due course I'll manage to get through and organise each space accordingly. I would rather have that stuff spread out across a few cupboards than all cramped into one cupboard. I think it just helps to give that sense of peace and fluid fluidity and makes things not feel quite as claustrophobic and cramped but I'm gonna have to put this down because my arms aren't cut out for vlog life anymore. Crikey. <sighs> what are you doing? Back it up. <laughs> this is what the nets turned out like. I am so pleased with them. I'm, I'm glad I did a bigger hem just because I feel like they needed the weight with them being so short. But I'm really, really pleased and so happy with how they turned out. And it's given me like a new confidence with doing it because I've got so many to take up. I'll show you the kitchen ones as well living no dining room <laughs> oh my goodness too many rooms <laughs> this is what we've got going on in here obviously everything's still sort of in limbo but i've got some neck curtains for in here as well and i'll show you the tie backs i got i got these from b and q and they're so nice they're such great quality so i got um the brass ones or antique brass for the living room just to make it nice and warm but in here we've got loads and loads of stainless steel appliances and everything else is stainless steel so it just makes sense to have these so yeah these are going to go on the window and i'll kind of show you what i'm hoping it will look like in the end but obviously we need to put some curtains up too hopefully the vision um so just have these gorgeous nets just drooping and draping and adding a bit of elegance to the room and then a gorgeous maybe a thicker curtain we had green curtains but sorry one sec oh my goodness <laughs> we had green curtains that we picked up from ikea but when we brought them in it just doesn't work i'm not actually a fan having lived here now for like two weeks i'm really not a fan of the color of the kitchen because we're staying here for quite a few years i think We'll see, never say never. Um, I think I might get it re-sprayed at some point when when we've got the opportunity to and the funds to. Just because I feel like it'll brighten the whole room up and I would love in time to get a gorgeous white quartz uh, worktop that would look so nice as well. So these are all my fantasies, my visions, not saying I'm gonna do any of them, they're just my ideas of like, if I had an unlimited amount of money, that is what I would do, but I wouldn't have chosen this colour kitchen myself. Um, and a lot of the bathrooms have got a lot of grey tile. And I just think it's very like modern and I'm not really a fan of modern looking things. But in the true nature of my channel, I am just keeping it slow. I am not trying to rush into it. Um, and I'm just living with what I've got and being happy with it. And um, they can do, you know, we lived in the other house with that bright orange kitchen with teal worktop for four years. So, you know, this is a lot nicer <laughs> than that was. And I'm sure it will be fine. You're just gonna have to deal with um, the gray and white for however many <laughs> years it takes me to swap it out, but I'm very pleased with it. In general, this kitchen is so much nicer and it's not far off what I'd have chosen myself. So I'm very happy about that. And I think just adding my own little touches here and there is really, really helping to make it feel a lot more like home. Well, I was gonna sit on the chair, but Sir Echolus has other ideas and who am I to stop the king himself from sitting on his throne? So I'm on the floor. <laughs> in true Catwoman style. I think I'm going to leave this video here today. I've really enjoyed just bringing you along for the week, picking you up whenever I had something fun I was on with and I feel like I've achieved so so much this last few weeks. I want to say a big thank you as well for all the lovely kind comments that I got on last week's video. I know so many of you were horrified as we were <laughs> with the state of the house and how dirty it was um, and there were you know lots of messages about that and then there was a few people who were like you know we don't know his circumstance you know it's not always black and white and I completely I love that mindset I really do in this instance I do I regret to say I do think it was out of sheer laziness yeah do you know it's and I say it's fine it's fine it was sort of like you know we moved in and it was really disappointing I think is the right word it was yeah it was something that should have been such an exciting moment and I think when you're faced with like 
that much dirt you're just like oh goodness me like and it just threw us for it for a little while and then you know we started cracking on and as soon as I got my little dusting rag out and I started cleaning things I suddenly felt so much better and as you'll know from the end of last week's video I was just like so excited about the amount of storage and there was nothing that was gonna bring me off cloud nine I am in love with this house and I'm so pleased so many of you are as well you know I was I think I said this as well in the last video I was a little bit nervous obviously this is very much a new build and our old house had so much character and you know quite a lot of you aren't from England and you love watching me for <laughs> the cute English lifestyle and oh we've got two cats now <laughs> yeah I feel like all that entailed and cottage living and obviously we don't have a cottage anymore but I am going to try and bring that cottage style and like farmhouse kind of style to this house in time it's all going to take time so just bear with me with that one but yeah I just want to say a really 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 big thank you for your kindness and support and there are quite a few new people out there so yeah I'm so happy you're here and I really can't wait to see what the future has in store for us in this lovely new sparkly house it's so bright and it's just making my soul come to life. I feel like bringing this house back to life is just the best thing. I got a really nice comment actually about, well it was sort of a, it was a comment that said you know they were a bit worried when they looked around the house the first time because it felt really cold and I agree. When we came and we looked around the house um, as we got the keys I was like gosh it's, it's very grey, everything's very grey and there wasn't really much colour going on. And it's sort of when you bring your own personality into a space, I think that's when a house really truly comes to life, so hopefully. I'm going to be able to do that, we shall see. But yeah, I'm going to go now, thank you so so much for watching, I really hope you all tune in again next week. I'm going to try and do sort of like a cosy, maybe like a day in the life sort of video next week, and then probably just scattering, you know, like house content in my normal vlogs as well but I'm going to try and do some of my cosy autumn videos we'll see how that goes because obviously my life right now is very much try and figure out the house <laughs> but we will we'll see how it goes I'll just bring you along for the ride and hopefully you can all enjoy but yeah from me Echo and Rory we'd all like to say goodbye <laughs> I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you all again in next week's video bye